good morning everyone uh, we'll start the session in a minute uh, people are still joining uh, I will start the session in 20 seconds. The benefit of everyone are my audible and can you guys see the screen? Please replay in the chat box. Uh, thanks, MK. Uh, we'll start the session now. Uh, it's on, it's eight forty-six. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks uh, for joining uh, our session. Uh, Prepare with William Only India. Uh, date is May sixth, uh, Friday. Let's start by discussing uh, how the market is placed and uh, uh, what is the Nifty is suggesting. As you can see here uh, on Wednesday, market uh, Nifty breached its uh, hundred DMA and it clearly uh, is below its key moving averages such as 50 and 200 EMA. Uh, that was the reason we moved the market status to downtrend from uh, uptrend under pressure. You can see here also uh, there, was, uh, there was some support for the Nifty near 16,800 in the uh, couple of weeks back. Uh, now that level is breached. Uh, uh, that is the reason we are in downtrend. Uh, once we are in downtrend, uh, fresh additions will not be initiated because uh, uh, around uh, three out of four stocks generally follow the market direction. Uh, that's what uh, William O'Neill has uh, historically has seen. Uh, that is the reason we do not uh, add stocks in downtrend. We try to book out stocks uh, which are showing signs of weakness. Uh, uh, that is the reason we can see uh, our model portfolio is uh, shrinking day by day. We are exiting a few stocks. So yesterday's low, that is Wednesday's low, will be a key for the Nifty now. If the Nifty stays above that level around 16,620 level uh, for the next two sessions, uh, we'll move the uh, will uh, that will be considered as a bottom for the near term. I will move the status to rally attempt. Uh, from there, we we'll like to see a follow through day. The follow through day is when Nifty advances 1.5% uh, uh, or more on uh, higher than previous session volume. Uh, that indicates uh, uh, buying has uh, started uh, into the indices. Uh, talking about key results, uh, stocks uh, Blue Dot, DCM, Sridham, and Set have reported good results uh, uh, yesterday post market session. Uh, so these uh, stocks will be under uh, scanner today. Uh, please be watchful about these stocks. Uh, there might be some huge volatile moves in these stocks. Talking about the results today, uh, Reliance, which is a major uh, uh, portfolio, uh, major weighted stock, uh, is reporting today. So that will also impact the general market direction. If the company reports good set of numbers, uh, we might uh, uh, see some buying in the stock as well as uh, across the uh, sectors as well. And other stocks, uh, banking stocks, Canada Bank, Federal Bank are also reporting. Uh, Tata Power and Green Panel are other major stocks uh, are reporting today. And talking about the global markets, what happened yesterday, uh, if you have followed uh, uh, global markets, you, you could have seen the bloodbath happened in the US markets. Uh, or NASDAQ, uh, which was a which is a tech heavyweight index, was down 5%, uh, uh, highest decline uh, since 2020. Dow also declined 3%, uh, S&P 3.6%. Uh, you can see stocks like uh, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple, which are major tech companies which have a heavy weight in NASDAQ, but down around 4 to 8%. Uh, that is the reason NASDAQ was down 5%. Uh, we all know the reasons uh, like uh, Fed increasing interest rates uh, will definitely impact uh, growth companies uh, like uh, tech companies because the uh, cost of funding will increase uh, for these companies. On the other hand, Bank of England has uh, flagged a uh, possible recession in the England uh, as well as they are also uh, looking at a double digit inflation. Uh, inflation has been there uh, across the nations. Uh, if you see uh, uh, some uh, Arab, uh, Turkey, uh, if I'm not wrong, has reported a 69% inflation. That is huge. Uh, 
and uh, india is also reporting at a higher single digit or uh, uh, double digits uh, which is a huge for indian economy as well that is the reason uh, global sell off has been there uh, apart from the pandemic and uh, supply chain constraints because of the geopolitical tensions and talking about uh, asian markets they are also uh, in a deep red now uh, cost is around 1.4% down hang seng 3.3% uh, down uh, shanghai 1.5% down and uh, brent crude uh, is up uh, around uh, uh, it is trading at 110 uh, uh, dollars per barrel uh, uh, like importing nations like india will get impacted because of this uh, and uh, gsec uh, which moves uh, against the stock market uh, has increased to yield has increased to 3.04% because uh, it is the highest level since 2018 Whenever stock market is plunging or declining, uh, uh, assets from stock market tend to move into the bond market because the bond markets are considered as a safe haven assets. Similarly, Indian uh, ten-year bonds, uh, G6 are also trading higher at seven point four percent, and SGX is uh, clearly indicating a two hundred point uh, cut from yesterday's close. Uh, we are uh, we we'll might uh, see a, a gap down opening around one percent to one point five percent. That is what SGX is indicating and also the global markets. And talking about the chart of the day, as we are in downtrend, we, do, we, are, we are not going to add uh, stocks uh, today and tomorrow. However, uh, Bharti Etel is our portfolio stock. I would like to discuss about this. Uh, we have added because of the breakout from stage one, uh, double beta, uh, double bottom base pattern. As you can see, it has got a very good set of numbers uh, on the sales and EPS trend. Uh, everything about the company was looking good at that particular point. Uh, uh, technical indicators like uh, RS uh, was also hitting a blue dots at that point and uh, number of funds invested in the stock has been uh, steadily increasing uh, for the last four quarters. That was the reason we added the stock to our model portfolio and now you can see because of the sell off in the across the indices uh, across the sectors, the stock has also been in the, into profit booking and under selling pressure. It is currently trading just around uh, it's a 50 and 100 EMA levels, uh, these lines. If that level is breached today, we, uh, we would exit the stock. Uh, and that is the reason I wanted to discuss about Mark Yatel. So please be uh, aware of this. Uh, please be online uh, because we might be exiting stocks uh, quickly as soon as the market opens. Thanks for joining our people. Uh, uh, stay tuned to our people. Uh, again uh, on Monday 8.45. Thanks everyone.